easy to find a heart to love you for who you are and does it get so magical or is something so mystical each time I'm out of my home with a heart ready to be loved here comes this gray sky over it and now I'm used to loving myself to love you my heart has been waiting see i know we're not perfect but love has found us here The mailman delivered that this morning, ma'am. It's been screened. Safe. All right. Thanks, Ali. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Elvis. Baby, I told you I was gonna make you a cake. I told you, you fold your baby cake this way. Why did you have this camera placed on top of the cabinet in the room Cam with the camera on? Camera placed. Why? How? Baby, I used it. I was downloading with it. I think it probably got stuck on the camera, and it was on camera mode. So, guy, let her remove her clothes. 
Eh? I want to see it live. Place the camera back where it was. That is the only way I can believe you. I think the camera is faulty. It broke and it's not working properly. I, I, it, it is stuck on camera mode, I think. I... <laughs> not a waste of time. Listen, I want to see her nakedness. Is it that? Live. Your nakedness? Why? No. Why were you recording me on your phone? I know. I want it the for your friends. The camera. Was, the camera got. I think it's broke. It's faulty. It has to be faulty, baby. I, 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 get out! Get out of my house! No. Get out! Jeez! It got stuck. Is it my fault? I'm trying to have to make get get get, and this idiot, this dumb idiot, is looking at you through the video. <laughs> wow. What is it again? Sir. Oh no 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 no, baby, don't don't. don't. Don't touch this home. Sir, we have been waiting for you to return the messages you took yesterday. Wow, at 5 p.m. You, your time is up. <laughs> wow. And, uh, uh, and the Range Rover you took last week, we are yet to get the payment. Uh, uh. I was supposed to pay them yesterday, but I was picking this cake, so I couldn't. So the cars are not yours. No, it's mine. I drove it here to see you. Who are okay. you? I am your lover. The man who baked this cake for you. Listen, don't believe everything. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! Mary! 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 you come back! Come back here! Mary, and go and call and take help for me! Get out of my house! Baby, listen, this is cake. Get out! Get out of my house! Mary! Get out. I baked this cake for you! With love! With love! What? I, 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 do you know how long it took me to pick this cake? Aww. You love me, don't you? I, do. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank baby. You. you picked this cake for I me. I did. Oh, <laughs> get, get, get out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. Get out. Get, get out of my house. Get out. Baby. Get out of my house. Get out. Get, get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! Get out! Rubbish! Idiot! Mary! Ma! Come and kill this mess out of my house! I thought your doctor asked you to reduce your working hours. Well, that's why I'm here. Dad, you really need to get some rest. Yeah. You need it. Here, the portrait you wanted. I made it last night. Oh, wow. You can get it framed. I don't have time for that. Sometimes you have made a fantastic painter. You know, you could also design stuff. You know, build them too. I'm fulfilled as an engineer. <laughs> I can imagine. I was going to talk to you about Vicky. Greg, I've told you specifically that I never, ever. I want to set eyes on that girl again. Let alone hear her name. Dad, please. Who is the lady in your vehicle? Oh, my secretary. She lives along my route, so every once in a while I help her to work. You know, you guys look like a couple. Seriously, can I meet her? Don't worry. I'll handle it for you.
What? For for what? <laughs> that I don't want her. Oh, don't worry. Boss is married as subordinates. She works for me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Beautiful Hello, young sir. lady. How are you? How do you do? How do you do too? I'm very well, thank you. What is your name? My name is Gloria Edison, sir. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Yeah, so my son was telling me that... Uh... So my son... Yeah. Well, I have to go. Well, it is extremely nice to meet you, you know. <laughs> It would be nice to see you again, okay? <laughs> Make sure we we'll see you. enough. Again. We're running late. Uh, <laughs> my friend, I don't care who he is. This is the time! <laughs> What are you musing about? Excuse me, sir. You felt very comfortable speaking with my dad. Um, silence would have been rude, sir. I mean, I couldn't... You could have just said, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry my boss won't be happy seeing me speak with you. Politely. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. You know what? Just apply for a car loan. I will approve it. But <laughs> next week you'd ride ride your car. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Yes. Speechless. <laughs> Rose. Come on. You didn't have to do this. It's Thank okay. you. Look, it's your day. Oh. A 41 is a blessing and not a cost. Thank you. So, cheer up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, girl, I was really going to let this slide. Oh. Um, that's Clarence. John Clarence. He's a songwriter. Okay. And a singer. So I hired him to sing on your birthday. He's one of my patients. Nice. It's Elaine. John is a good guy and mm -hmm. single, you know. I think you will like him. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brown. Mm. Hi. Yeah, you, you, you know, you are the rose of Sharon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-one is just a number, and your beauty uh, overshadows it all. Oh, okay. Yeah.
never heard any of his songs before. Really? Yes. They're on YouTube and Boom app. Ah. Okay. Has, has anyone ever told you how pretty and lovely you are? Is anything the problem? What? No. <laughs> um, um, just tell me, um, where do you see yourself in the next um, five years in the music industry? Linda, you are the dream of every man. All right? I was so, I was so captivated uh, the moment I set my eyes on you tonight. Yeah. You know, every reasonable man, every responsible man will always dream of falling into your arms. Mm. See, I am, I'm, I'm not trying to be so fast. Right. I am not. Okay, mm. please. However, from what I saw tonight, mm. you are not into any relationship. And just what I thought, sex. That's all they want from me. My brother, yes. um, see, it's really getting late. I need to go rest. It's been a long day. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Um, okay. Yeah. It's this way. Uh, it's fine. It's right. fine. Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 No one talks ideas, innovative ideas, nothing. Just tell him he came at me too quickly, and trust me, that just yeah. Ticked me off. That was nasty and very uncooked. Girl, people act differently. People act civil, okay? He's just acting like the rest. All they want is sex and affluence. Sex and affluence? Yes. Then you have to quit reducing yourself to an object of gratification. Sorry that I can see through all of that. I mean, just look at the way he looks. He starts me to appeal to his fans. Oh, unfortunately, I'm not his fan. I am someone he's trying to get to know. Oh yes, I know you are not his fan. I mean, you are a woman who wants to fall in love. Well, he's sophisticated. Nah, sorry, but I, I'm sorry. I didn't see that sophistication in him. Tea for thanks, but no, I'm not interested. Good night. <laughs> see this guy, this guy is a joker. That should have been a record. Hey. I told you guys, let's just go do something else. I don't know why we're watching this match. What? Give this guy a red card. Ah, ah. Max, I didn't know you were the referee. Ah. <laughs> if you give, you give him, you have a red card in your pocket. Hey, Pops. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine now. You? I'm at home. I'm watching a game with uh, Derek and Max. Okay, they were here. Pops the Helena. Hey, oh, my God, bro. You sound like you're on the road. You're supposed to be resting. Go! Dad, we discussed this in the morning. You know what? She's fired. I don't want her. I mean, why you, why you, you need a wife. Why don't you keep her for yourself? Huh? What's going on? What was that about? Greg, what are you, what are you hiding from us? See, Greg, it's half time, so... We can talk about it. Thing. You know, it's better you just talk about it than suppress this feeling. Just, that's why we are friends, right? That's why we are pals. Just yeah. talk about it. What's going on? Greg. Look, I hired this girl six months ago. The other day, on my way to work, I stopped at my dad's. He was in the car. He saw her. I, he thinks she's good for me. Can you imagine? Someone I had as a secretary is now good for me. Mm -hmm. The only question is, you, you, you ride your staff to work? Yeah, she lives along my route, so every once in a while I help her to work. Wow. She lives along your route, right? That means your dad may be correct. I see. You two have enough time to jail. So you can keep her for yourself then? 
Greg, you definitely know I don't need a woman for now, so you can do all of that for yourself. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, you like her, that's why you do that. You know, giving her the gangster. What's, What's your app? Yeah. What's your app? What's your app? So I can, I can, so I can, I can, hire, I can get the rider. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Yes, sir. Come in, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, sir. Joseph, come. Thank you, sir. Look, I'm relieving you of your duty here. What's oh, up? I hope I've not done anything wrong. I love working here, sir. Joseph, how long am I supposed to keep living with, in this vengeance? But, sir, honestly, sir, if I lose this job, she's going to oppress me. She's afraid of you, sir. Please, sir. I'm begging you, please, sir. Look, seek divorce. That's the only way out. Hmm? Just. Think of this and make a decision quick. I'm going to give you a little time here so you figure yourself out. Just think about it. Thank you, sir. So this is why you were shocked to see me? He's just a friend. Clearly, there are two boyfriends here. And it's pretty obvious that I am the main one. So, he's going to serve me. Go get me a bottle of water. And while you're at it, make sure the bed is laid because I'm sleeping over. Hmm? He's my husband. I'm so, so sorry, Greg. I... I found out today. That's why I'm here. <laughs> How many men have both of you scammed like this, if I may ask? I should have done my homework thoroughly before throwing my life into your arms. You lied. You lied. And lied. I got curious. I understand you're on the same page with your wife here, with this whole thing, single, just to scam rich men with talks of love and marriage, yeah? Uh, I had no choice, okay? We were going to die of hunger, and times were really, really tough. You would have been better off earning a decent living, being a cleaner, than being a con artist. Don't judge me. You have no idea what it was like for us. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give him a job. I'm going to hire him as my gate man. You want to humiliate him? I want to humiliate you. They're so filled with fire. Gate man or prison, you have a choice to make now. Fine. You win. 
but stay out of my path and everything that concerns me. <laughs> I advise you get yourself a decent job and get more responsible or else you end up in prison. And I have every reason to believe that you oppress your husband here. That also must end. He resumes tomorrow morning. You have that to deal with. Hello? Gloria, you're not supposed to ask your boss whether he's on his street or on his way to work to pick you up. Good. Now get there before I get there. You're becoming sly, yeah? Here. Get yourself to work. Thank you, sir. I'll see you there. Billion now. Come on, that's too high for a four station in that area. Sir, it is in a strategic location. We have 129 four stations across the country. And I'm not looking to do any further expansion, at least not at this price. Okay, sir. You know what? Bargain harder. If they come down to 700 million, then we purchase it. Okay, sir. Uh, Gloria. Is, is she here yet? She called in a few minutes ago. She's stuck in traffic. Approve her car loan. I can't be taking my, my, my staff to work every day. Yes, sir. Just take that to finance. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Helen? Yes, Miss Brown. I need you to be truthful and sincere. I promise to know. What is the talk going on around here about me? What are they gossiping about? Um, no one is going to get in trouble, okay? This, we're not gossiping. Okay, ma'am. Listen. You're 29. Married. With a son. I'm 41. I have none. I just need to know what they're saying about a rich single woman. Oh, ma, um, generally, women who are Please rich. Please be bold, okay? okay this is off the records. <laughs> okay, ma. So, um, rich women seem inapproachable. To responsible men. Responsible men? Yes, I mean men who want serious relationships, not those jokers and Cosnovas out there. I mean, this class of men feel that they'll become subordinates in the relationship, so they stay far away. You know, male chauvinism. But you see those Casanovas out there? Those ones don't care. Mm. Misogynist thinking. <laughs> well, that's the society we find ourselves in. Mm. Right or wrong, that's our reality. The sad part is that a lot of women actually believe the societal construct. It's sad. Please sit. Okay, ma'am. I... I'm a rich, successful woman. I owe no apology. I can't limit myself just because of the idea of marriage. Nah. That's never an option. 
And women really need to stop limiting themselves just to not feel threatened about another man. That societal jinx needs to be broken. Absolutely. I mean, look at me. I lost both parents at the age of 16. I only God knows what would have happened if I had given up on myself. I probably wouldn't be here. Yes, I want to be loved. I want to love. I want to feel loved. But fortunately, I... I haven't had a real man in my life. All they really want from me is sex and my money. For some women in this situation, what they do is they either adopt babies or they find a way to get pregnant somehow and move on with their lives. You know, so they focus on taking care of the child and finding fulfillment in the child and their job. And if they need regular sex, um, they pay for it, you know, kind of. I mean, men do the same. There are lots of men who are single dads out there, you know. Hmm. Wow. Thank you, thank you, Helen. Thank you. Thank Love you. you. Yes, totally. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Time. Thank you. What media outfit do you work with again? Yeah, I own a blog site. So, Mike, you gave him this to publish? Yes. It is called Tell It All Story. I know you don't want the internet to get buzzed with our love story. I mean, how a poor bank staff deceived a rich, lonely lady. <laughs> and um, with just 20 million, I will drop the whole story. Ever. Oh, 20 million. Okay. Ezekiel! Please, lock the gate. And when you're done, come. Come on. Ezekiel. These two guys walked into my compound to blackmail me. Hey! Ah, it's okay. Just. Get the brooms, hmm? give it to them, and once they're done, make sure they wash the car, both here and on the other part. Shama, Thank what? You. Water. I'm a journalist. Oh, don't worry about that, my darling. Let me worry about that. This is not a joke. You know what is a joke? You walking into my compound to blackmail me for 20 million because I threw you out for being a pathological liar. Just don't worry your head. Once you are done, the police will come in here and take you away. Rubbish. 20 million. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Madam, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the devil. Oh, really? Hello? Is it? Uh huh. Boys, oh yeah. When I go start now, eh? <clears throat> Take! When I go start, when I want to buy Madam money, when I go sweep, when I go sweep, when I go sweep, I go dirty the ground, when I go sweep, I'm again. Take! See, as you they talk, eh? The more they increase your work. This is not be Madame government again, no. Show me. Now me, they come on now as the CSO of this company. So now what they talk, now I go do. Oh yeah, get to work. Start to do the do. Nonsense. You, you, it is a hard time when you, you cross time for Madame bed. They send me message up and down. Inside, inside the rain, you go say, make me your CSO. My gosh, moto. In fact, eh? Just wait. Now drown where water they on top. Now you go sleep. Just wait. You want know anything. You all don't talk. They said the thing where is it? This is an ambassador for the Indian Come! Look! You're very shit, shit, shit! Nonsense! You did there, the cross leg! You're gonna give me command anyhow! See! Hey, you! What they did? What you want this place where? You, you need to put this in your trouser. Pull and make you wash. I hope say your boxer clean. Madam, no like to see dirty boxer. So like wash everywhere. Do it. Do it. So I see me if they talk to you, it's mad. See, I go keep you for here. Eh? How did your black black baby? You go white before you come out here.
I'm done hoping for some guy to come. I'm done putting my destiny in the arms of luck. Like I'm done worrying. I have my baby and that's it. If anyone tries to blackmail me, I'll flush them out. Oh, v Vicky. Why are you calling me with uh, an unknown number? Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Makes sense. Oh, okay. Ah, ah. Uh, you know what? Let me see what ah, I can wow. do by tomorrow, okay? Oh. <laughs> All right. It's, it's Good night. Nice. Right. Kill it. Uh, 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 Vicky. <laughs> Guys, it's time. It's almost time for football. Though. We have to hurry up and head home. Mm, yeah. Well, before we head home, Greg, you know, I've been, I've been wondering. I've been very worried. When did you get shy of women? Because I don't, I don't get it. This is not the Greg that we used to know. All of a sudden, there is no babe around you, no chick, no woman, no, no queen. Ah, it's surprising for two years. See, uh, for two years, two, two, years, two right? good years, yeah, two years. You see, Greg, uh, let me tell you something. I and Derek uh, were of the opinion that there's nothing wrong with you, but as for me. I want to believe uh, maybe that is a problem with your down south, you know, uh, 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 or you've lost your guts, or maybe there's something you're hiding from us, uh, you know, Gloria, Vicky, somehow, you know. So both of you now, your role in my life is to monitor my sex life for how long I had sex. <laughs> well, you were just looking out for you. Honestly. It's just, you know, brothers. You guys did a job. But Look, guys, what I'm looking for is different. You see, mm. I, I need an industrious, independent-minded woman. Mm. I mean, someone that when she loves you, you understand it's organic. It's from the bottom of her heart, not uh, for material things or who I am or what I have. You know, like it's it's different when you know someone loves you and everything she wants the only need in her life is actually love because i have everything else i need you know she loves you she loves you truly and she loves you right not all these girls looking for who to reach out for. i don't know that's very to. deep very very deep but that is not the reason that's not the reason there's more to it because out there they are industrious intelligent diligent sweet sensible beautiful mm. They are all around you. They are out there on their feet, standing by. Yeah, but the ones coming around me are crawling, and I don't need that. Uh, you see, Greg, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. <sighs> Honestly, I don't believe you. You know what? I, I, look, I, I, I second Max. It seems like there's something wrong with Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> no, see, we are, that's why we are friends. We are herbs we can get. See, I have a link. Honestly. <laughs> Johnny is the problem. <laughs> Guys, I'm hale and hearty. Still the lion. Just the women around. Yeah. Uh, hmm? uh, <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> you see, Greg, it's simple. Prove us wrong. Get a woman in bed, and that's all said. Yes. Prove us wrong. Take your money, provide a woman. Okay. Hello. Hi, Hi Nick. How are you? Very well. So you're here to buy what set today? Uh, yes, I need a uh, dining set. Okay. Of course, of course, of course. So we have this already on this place. So do you want a four-seater or six-seater? Uh, six. 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 Okay, that's fine. We have them just in this place. We can just wrap it up and have them delivered. So you want this and which other one? So look, we have this. Yes, of course, it comes with the console as well. Yes. But you have to buy the accessories separately. <laughs> yes. It's separately perfect. So we also have this Roberto Cavalli set. It is the limited edition and what you see is exactly what you get. Uh, 
Uh, Tony, please um, have them get the truck ready to have this delivered for Mr. Hamid. And he's also going to be looking at that. I don't know if he's going to take that yet, but just have them deliver that one. All right, thank you. Hey, Rosie Pepe Rempe. <laughs> What's up, baby? Wow. Good. Good. I mean, we're pushing. Oh, I can see that. What's up? This one that you came to my office this afternoon? What? I spoke with Clarence yesterday and he kept wondering what wrong he did to you. Please don't. Babes, you are not picking his calls. Please, please. I do not want to have anything to do with that guy. Oh, really? Yes. You don't know what he has. I do. A local street boy and a philanthropist. No. You just stereotyped him into those bunch of idiots that came your way within 24 hours of talking with him for the first time. That is not nice. He is a good man. Lee. I mean, I've been his personal doctor for over seven months. He's a sincere man. Wow. And what sincere man talks about being in the arms of another woman? A woman he barely met just 15 minutes after speaking with her. We all have our own ways of average. Uh, and your own definition of responsible man, Lee, it's biased. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. Well, based on my own personal experience, thank you very much. I do not want him. Okay, if you say so. Uh -huh. I just came to check up on you. I have somewhere going with Jeff by 1 p.m. Ah, please. Jeff is a better man. <laughs> Thank you. It. If that man sent you, tell him you have misplaced my number. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, he just might be waiting for someone. Mm. He looks handsome and, you know, it's different. That's the kind of gene my baby needs. He waiting for someone mm. there's only one way to find out Seriously? Damn, he's one of them. I've been waiting for you for a while now, and, uh... Waiting for me? Oh, yeah? yeah there I, I am. 
I don't know. Um, do you want a drink or do we just go straight to the room? To the room? Yeah. Okay, great. I guess we can still order drinks there. Hmm? Yeah, this is charges to the room. Eh? Okay. All right. This is much better than going to a sperm bank. So, do I order you a drink or? <sighs> I mean, we could just start now. It doesn't matter. Right. But no condoms. an irresponsible woman Derek and Max sent to me. What if I have a sexually transmitted disease? What if she has one? Why don't you want a condom? Gosh. If I tell him I want a baby, he might just walk away. Hard to say. I want a baby. What? Look, I just want a baby for myself. Okay, you really don't have to be a part of our lives. I promise you, after now, we don't know each other. We have never met, as a matter of fact. And you will never see me again, forever. Hello, Greg, where are you? What are you talking about? We're in the room already. I'm not going ahead with your stupid plan. What plan are you talking about? We just came now. We dropped that here. Greg, who is the lady with you in the room? way below my expectation. The lady upstairs is prettier and classier. Gosh, either way I still have to prove Max and Derek wrong. I've taken the Viagra already. Uh, hi. Hi. Hi Greg. Uh, what's your name again? You can call me Christy. Oh, Christy. So how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I'm good. Your friend told me you need something cool for the night. Ah, uh, yes, that was before now, but uh, something actually came up. Oh, yeah? I have a night vigil downstairs, so... Oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Uh, just take this and uh, get yourself a taxi, and I'll get my guys to wire you for every thousand tomorrow. Thank you. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, just hurry up and uh, then... I'll just okay. finish open. That's fine. Just yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes. What? Leave it. Gosh. I can't lose on both sides. 
Derek and Max will mock me forever. I mean, who are you and why do you just want a baby? Goodbye, sir. Okay, you get the baby, I get the sex, and that's it. Say thanks for the sex. Oh. No, it's been a long time. It's been a long time of celibacy. And that's because of women like you. I know it's none of your business, at least I've proved my guys wrong. Your, your, your guys. You used me for a bet? And you used me for a baby. Now we're even. <sighs> so now vanish, like you said you would. And let me warn you, if you think you're gonna blackmail me after this, I'll have you know that I have the police in this town on my payroll. And the thugs. Anyway, I can tell he's wary of gold diggers. Perfect. Steal the lion. Hello? Oh, you're there? Oh, all right, I'll join you soon. Yeah, I'll join you soon, all right. Wow. You know, Dr. Rose, you know, it's, it's, thank you. Thank you. you it, it's so, um, 
I'm fortunate that Linda could. Uh, she had such terrible experiences with men she loved and, and trusted. Yeah. yeah. However, that's, that's no reason for her to stereotype all men. Okay? Because decency and sincerity are never written on anyone's forehead. Right? Like they say, looks at times don't define responsible and serious, right? Yeah, you're right. Good. You're right, Clarence. Uh, you see? They all come to her looking like saints on the outside, but cruel and awful on the inside. Wolves and sheep clothings, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I quite agree with you. But, you know, she could not look beyond physical appearance to see how we get the wear, right? And, and on my own side, she couldn't look beyond my artistic appearance, you know, to see how, what, what I have for her, the kind, of, the kind of love I have for her, you know, I, I wanted to make her feel like the queen of the world. You know, it's, it's, it's so painful, honestly, it, yeah. it is. Clarence, I'm, I'm so sorry. Look, I'm sorry I put you through this embarrassment. I mean, it's all my fault. I, I, I shouldn't have done this. I'm deeply sorry. There's, there's absolutely nothing to apologize for. You sure? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, you, you did what a good heart would have done, right? And I, I thank you so much for that. I really thank you for that, right? And um, you will always be my doctor. <laughs> thank you for your understanding. It's fine. So, so what's up with you? Where are you headed to now? Yeah, I just um, came to check up on you. I'll be on my way now. Oh, that's, I have a that's patient fine. to attend to. Yes, it's and great. don't forget to come for your vitals. Sure, sure. I'll be expecting you. I won't. I won't. <laughs> All right. Have a very Take wonderful care. time. Yeah. I just want a baby for myself. Okay, you really don't have to be a part of our lives. I promise you, after now, we don't know each other. We have never met, as a matter of fact. And you will never see me again, forever. Sir. Yes, what is it? I came to update you on the properties we are trying to purchase. Just drop it there, I'll read it at my leisure. Sir, the document you asked for in the morning. I want a baby. What? Why would she just want a baby and... You said it was urgent. What happened? <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> you... You were what? Pregnant. Pregnant? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I, I get it. Okay, I get it. So, who is the father and what are you thinking? Okay, so let's just say he's a sperm donor. A yes. sperm donor? Yes, what's wrong with you? Like. Aren't you supposed to be happy for me? This um, is what I want. No, no I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm surprised. You, you never told me you wanted a baby. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I just felt like I was sick and tired of men and their whole shenanigan. You know, so I decided to go out there, have myself a baby, and be happy. 
<laughs> Come here, girl. Yes! <laughs> I am happy for you. Thank you. I am happy for me too. Thank you. <laughs> um, the, the paperwork? No classes? No, because there are no paperwork, okay? I mean, okay, you know what? Let's say it's just myself and the donor. And as far as we both are concerned, we don't know each other. We have never met <laughs> and we will never meet. Not in this lifetime, not in the next. This calls for celebration. Yes! <laughs> champagne! 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 Come, let me get you something. Come, come, baby. Max, um, is there any chance you remove the SD card from the camera we used the other night? Why will I do that? Oh, okay, um, I can't seem to find it in, in the camera. Ask Derek, he was with the camera when I left you guys. Alright, thank you. Thank you, man. find the SD card that was in the camera we used the other night. Any chance you took it or saw it? Or... SD card? No, it was in it when I returned it. Really? I, I can't seem to find it. It's, uh, it's not in the camera. Bro, this is a sex tape. I hope it doesn't get into the wrong hand. Ah, that's true. Have you asked Max? Yeah, I just spoke to him now. He didn't say anything. Uh, could you, like, stretch your car for me, maybe in the morning or something? I, Greg, it's been weeks, okay? I've taken the car to a car wash. I'm sure the, even if it was there, they probably have vacuumed it or washed it away. So I, I, I don't think it's going to be there. Why don't you check your place, check you, check around you properly? Okay, oh well. Thank you. Yeah, good night. Oh, it's something so mystical 
How are you? I'm fine, sir. So, uh, so you have been going to work with uh, Greg for how long now? Mm, for about six months now. I live alone. I know where you live. On your way to work, do you guys talk? Yeah, we talk about sports because he loves football a lot and some official matters. So how do you see him? He's handsome, intelligent. I mean, he's the kind of boss I will always love to have. You see, Greg is my only son. Of course, I have children, our grandchildren from my other daughters, but none from him. You see, this is the reason why I want you to get pregnant for him. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir. You see, I've not been able to get any woman to settle down with Greg. That is why you see, I'll pay any amount of money, any amount, for you to have a child for him. You know, or perhaps even get him to marry you. But Greg does not really like women. And it's hard to get closer. <laughs> closer. You're already close to him. Why are you underestimating yourself? Uh huh, please. I need to change my diet. But, madam, your shape is great. Mm -mm. It's not about my shape or weight. Okay. I just need to eat more fruits and vegetables. Okay, madam. Right. And tell Mary that I'll be out of the room in a bit. She should come and clean it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I need to look for her. 
why? Why, why, Greg? Uh, why do you have to search for her? When you can easily uh, pick up another woman and have fun. Hmm? It's not about the fun, Max. I, I think I'm falling in love with her. Love her? I need to find out at all costs. Seriously, Greg? A woman you met in a bar waiting for any man, you know, to pick her up, take her home for just one night stand. It's not the kind of woman for you. Yes, fine. Uh, she might be pretty. Uh, she might be looking good. But for me, she's not your class. Uh, kill that feeling. Uh, kill that feeling, Greg. Kill it. You know, there's something I didn't tell you about that night. Okay. She actually told me that she was in the bar to look for a man to have a baby with. A stranger. <laughs> I think she's rich. Mm. She's classy. Greg. 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 Um, for me, rich and classy women don't, don't go around hotels, bars, looking for babies. You know what I mean? You see, uh, that girl is not your class at all. She's not your type. Kill this illusion totally. Let it go. Uh, let it go. I don't know why you're getting yourself stuck in this kind of feeling. Um, I don't think I'm in support of that. Kill it totally. Hmm? Look, Max, I uh, need to meet up with my dad in 10 minutes. It's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to rush off because of traffic. You can sort this out. I can touch you all later. Hey, sorry, no problem. I'll, I'll hook up with Derek shortly. All right. All right, cheers, man. All right, we'll Take see you. Take care, man. Baby hunger. I have that here already. Oh, you do. Um, those are the ones I can remember for now. You know what? When you go shopping, you find a lot of baby things that are interesting. Trust Thank me. you. Thank you so much, Helen. I'm glad I could help as well. Yes. See, Thank you. I am so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I need you to find her. She lives in this state. Whatever it costs, I'll pay you. I'll be finding this person. I think I've seen this place before. My cousin works for her as a gatekeeper, and I've been there several times. She says she's a good woman. So this place Where does the brother work? Uh, for Allen Avenue, for that Okwebi Road. My dear, my you brother, know the building? I know the building very well now. You've gone there before? I know the building. Now, my, my brother, you for her now. But you want her? This person is a good person now. Nothing to worry about. Your money's in the envelope. Okay. I'll talk to you. Mark, I think I found her. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Oh, he's not here. It's okay, you can put it down on his desk. Is anything the matter? Very soon. I mean, very, very soon. I will be part of the owners of this company. Excuse me. Okay. Greg's dad wants him to get married. To me. You can reject it, but he doesn't make it a lie. Ever wondered why my car loan was instantly approved by passing all protocols? The boss don't want to drive you to work anymore. I did the processing. Anyways, what am I doing, Mr. Nick? What do you want? <laughs> Okay. 
Let him in. Hi. What are you doing here? And how did you find me? Clara, no. We had an agreement. Linda Brown, if you please calm down and hear me out. I see you already did a background check on me. And you're obviously here to blackmail and extort money from me. You couldn't even keep your word. Shame on you. Now get out before I call the police on you. Listen, I know we had an agreement and I am very stupid for the things I said. If you can please hear me out. No, we have nothing to talk about. Just get out before I get the cops to get you out. And listen, if I see anything in the media concerning what happened the other night, you will spend the rest of your life behind bars. I am Greg Harry, the only son of the oil magnate, Chief Harry Benson. I sit on wealth and power. Look, I don't understand what it is, but I've not been able to get you out of my mind since the night we made love. I don't know why I miss you, but I can say uh, I see you in my dreams and you're all over my mind. Hey, did you see? No. Just get me out of there. Your mind, your soul, whatever it is, just get me out because I do not exist. And I'm glad you have a family name to protect. Now get out. Did it work? You're pregnant. The one night stand. I think we're done here. Get out. Linda, listen, you just have to believe me when I say I am truly, truly in love with you. Dazzling. Oh. Uh -uh. Ah, I will find her. I will find her. Imagine how she's moaning. Hey. Hey, Greg. Greg. Greg, you can't do this well. What? Ah, whatever it takes, I will find her. I will find her. I will give her. I will give her and she will collect. She will collect. Madam never come now. Now me say best no go shop for this house. Eh? You, you know no say after dinner I need food to take do this my security work where where. So it's because of food you came all the way to my room. Ah, you rich now. You don't say if anything happen now, I me go hold ground, I me go wish you know protect your everything. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
they could do when I you know. Me go in, I'm coming. Just go, I'll come. <laughs> no, Allah. Is it not food? I will give you. I'll go, go wait for in. you. Ma, I'll protect you. Ma, ma, I'll secure you for here no, first. No, Allah. Allah. I just the same, Madame Bele, just the, just the increased volume, the increased volume. Mm -hmm. uh, she in the collect one or, one or two for <laughs> Yes, she is. Eh? Hey. Hey. Ha! Now, how come be there, Papa? I don't know, but she's very, very happy. <laughs> eh? Hey. So, so I, I she won't take Duam now? I don't know. I guess she just needs a child to inherit her wealth. Yeah. Wow. It's like no balance. And I'll be just the reason she, she could not resign all this work I don't do for her. I just decide to adopt me as, as brother. Mm -hmm. So that when she decides to change her permanent address, now me could just call her everything. Mm -hmm. and I, said, I don't even really say I go make you and the edit. We will make her do her self so that I'm not lost. Ah. Me? What insults? See, Ezekiel, we're just in my room. Which Leave can, my room. Which kind of problem be this? You know, I took that wala. Eh? I see the reason you say I won't help you. When people like say when they make me adopted uh, brother, I could just collect everything on this street. I, I, you see the vest for me. No problem. Because she won't bother picking. Ma tell you, she'll burn that picking. She'll still reason everything I'll do for her. Because you make me adopted brother. That time your clear go I. Eh? A whole me made. Your maid of all. <laughs> Is okay, please just leave my room, I beg, I beg. Leave my room. The, the, the food don't go. Which food? You're not hungry. Because uh, if you're hungry, your mouth's not going like this. <laughs> Mary, now play at the play, now. They don't play with you. I beg, I Ah, Mary, I did little lamp. <laughs> little lamp, hey, little lamp. Mary, I did little I lamp. Hey, kitty call, kitty call, kitty call. Ah, Mary. I go die, boy. Hey, ah. Small play like this, you know, they change your. Leave my room, Jerry. I did wait, so I did secure you for here. No, That's what I used to do. See what? You see, man, I can't believe you're going this path. Greg, remember you have a family reputation to protect. Huh? Look, Max, she's not what you think. She's actually a very responsible woman. And she's pregnant for me. Pregnant? From that one night encounter? Craig. See, I, I think I believe you now, Greg, you know, she came prepared, yeah. And the thing is, she doesn't want to ever see me again. I don't, I don't blame her. We had an agreement. So keep to your word. Keep to your word, because it's honorable to keep to your word. Sure. I'll find where she lives. Because of the baby. But you promised her to keep it. I so just stay away. Look, man, I love her. <laughs> it's funny, but I'm not even afraid to own that now. Greg, you love her, yeah? Remember, you haven't found the SD card. So what are you gonna do? Okay, guys, can we can we just can we be positive about this SD <sighs> card? It's a tiny piece. It's, it's just. SD card, even if it falls on the floor, who's going to pick up the SD card when you can afford to just buy one yourself? Let's just stay positive. It's just. It's alright. Just the card is gone. It's alright. It's okay. Elin, how, how did he find you? I don't know. He just. Uh came up and said he loves me. Girl, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you're going through this. I'm deeply sorry. What are you going to do? I mean, what's your decision? I just want to give myself and my baby the best life. I want to be happy without him. I know. But what if he loves you just like you said? Rose. 
I'm having his baby. Of course he'll say anything to be in the baby's life. Madam. That's how she's there. You should not get name. Um, it's okay. Let, let him in. It's fine. You can go in. Sorry, sir. Just say, Madam. Amen. Um, uh, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. You can go. It's fine. Thank you. What are you doing here and how did you find me? Providence brought us together and I messed things up. I, uh... I, uh, Providence didn't bring us nothing. You're just a sperm donor and it ended that night. And since that night, I've not been able to get you off my mind. You need to get out of that illusion. Linda, look. I'm in love with you. That's true. It's as true as me standing here right before you. How did you even find me? How did you know my name? If I didn't genuinely care about you, I wouldn't find you. If it's about a baby, <laughs> come on, you know I can afford a surrogate. Look, Mr. Harry, I'm late for work. And if I leave this property before you, you know that I'll be trespassing. Excuse me. Ezekiel, please open the gate. Thank you, Helen. Well, is there anything you'd like me to help you with? Oh, no, that'll be all. Thank you. Um, hold on. Can you recognize Chief Harry's son? Yes, ma'am. He was here three days ago. Good. When Nick is here, do not let him in. I do not want to ever see him here again. Okay, Miss Brown. Thank you. That'll be all.
So I have the document open right before me here. So uh, let me just take a look at it, proofread, and have my secretary do the needful, okay? You, you should get it back in a couple of hours. All right, thank you. Dad, what a pleasant surprise. Yes. I just yeah. said, walk here. Uh, Gloria. Sir. Is everything okay? Why are you here? I start to accompany me. What for? Look at her. Hmm? Isn't she beautiful? And intelligent. And she has a fantastic job at your office. Huh? Gloria, you're so beautiful today. And I actually like what you're wearing. Thank you, sir. You see, uh, since my mom passed seven years ago, I've been trying to convince this old man here to remarry. And I just think you might make a great wife for him. Personally, I don't mind you being my stepmother. It doesn't matter to me. You know, your perception of women says a lot more about you than it does about them. Hmm? When you derogate a woman, remember that your mom was one. And your sisters are women too. Eh? Gloria, please, if you don't mind, I want to have a word with my dad. Just give us some time outside. Dad, you know this, your impression of women being gold diggers and liars, it's not exactly true. In fact, if it makes you happy, Finally, I am in love with one. Yes, but the truth is, but she doesn't love me back. She doesn't want me. Another but? She's carrying my baby. Ah, she will love you back. <laughs> she will love you back. Nah, this... Give me her number. What's her address? No, Dad, calm down. She Don't... will love you back. I am willing to give her some time. She is going to come around. You know, I... The truth is we met under very unusual circumstances. So I believe with time, if I do my part well, play my part well, she'll definitely come around. So nothing to worry about. So, you see why you can have Gloria all to yourself? <laughs> you, you need a wife, She's old man. So, you need someone, to, you need a young girl to take care of you. That one doesn't want assurance, <laughs> assurance. I'm fine. Ma, while you were away for lunch, the mailman delivered it. Ma, I'll be at my desk if you need anything. I can't believe I wasted 90 minutes or watching that rubbish. Huh? See, if you complain from now till tomorrow, it's not gonna change anything. Just move to the winning team. Join Real Madrid, something. Leave that nonsense, please. Look, sorry, no. later. I'll have to go. I can't stay all the time. I didn't even realize. I just ordered for. Some other time, bro. Greg. Guys, look, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Just keep sending me flowers. I'll see you tomorrow. Miracles. Trust me. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Trust me, it works. You know the boy. <laughs> What's your decision about him? I don't need him. And as a matter of fact, I don't need a man. I don't need any man. What can they possibly give to me? Elaine, you've always seeked love. Why don't you give this a try? 
Same way I gave every other one a trial. And how did he end? Please. He's a father of your child. He's just a sperm donor. He's only trying to ruin my life. I think you should give him a chance. I don't have a chance. Then create one. Yes. It's just a donor. It should remain that way. Okay, yeah. I'll be at my desk, man, in case you need anything. Thanks, Mary. You're welcome. Um, I'd like to see your boss. Um, so you don't have an appointment. Um, okay. Linda Brown? Yes, sir. Good I'm Harry Bess. Well, my son has been bringing flowers here every morning, so I decided to follow the heart that receives the flowers. I'm glad my son met you. Elegance personified. Thank you, sir. But um, <clears throat> I don't know what your son told you, but we are not in any relationship. And you're about to have a child for him. <sighs> okay, um, please have a seat. I really wanted a baby and I went in search of one. I was at a bar in a hotel and that was where I met your son. I told him what I wanted. We had an agreement. We went in, we had sex. It was a beautiful experience because I, I realized that he was single because he was very wary of women, which was perfect. We had an agreement and everyone went their separate ways. Only for him to come up weeks later and start telling me how much he loves me. Like, no, that's not part of it. I don't want him. We don't want him in our lives. Well, you see, um, I cannot tell you who to be with or not to be with. You know, it's totally your choice. You're an adult, it's your prerogative. Okay, but um, you can't deny him access to his child. He has every right to see his own child. Mm -hmm. So, I will have my baby. And I will train him or her to the fullest in my own way. I don't need help from him or any other person. And besides, that was not the agreement. The man has the right to be with his child. No, he's just a sperm donor. I don't want him around me or my child. You see, you're not in the place to make such a decision. You don't have any rights. You know, but besides, you don't have any paperwork. So my narrative is this. You dated for a couple of weeks, and then you got pregnant. You see, this child is the first fruit of my first fruit. So he has to be a part of my family. I cannot give my child to anyone, and that is fine. So I think we're done here. I hope you're not trying to piss me off. 
And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you for the last time. That child is my son's child. And my son has every right to be part of his life. And he is my grandchild. And I have every right to be a part of his life. So from now on, I want to know everything about this child's welfare. Okay? Thank you very much for your help. Let me know if you need any money or anything. And thank you for your help. So what I basically did was tell her your rights as the father of the child that she must allow you access to your baby. No, Dad. No, she'll think we're trying to fight her. She'll feel threatened. Are you insane? Dad, I truly love her. I want to be with her. Look, my friend. You cannot force her to be with you. But you can enforce your rights as the father of the baby. Look, when you guys start to share parental duties, maybe, maybe, she can start falling for you. But for now, all I'm interested in is my grandchild. Ah. Dad was in my office earlier today. His dad? Yeah. Mr. Harry was in your office today? What did he say? He insisted sternly that my baby must be part of his family. Mr. Harry could be a very dangerous man. I suspect so. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Tomorrow. You guys call me and all this. I'm going no, to no, 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 no. I would prefer to watch the match tomorrow. It's just for 4 p.m. It won't take much time, and Come to think of it, watching football in your house lately is boring. You talk on the phone. Mm. Uh, Greg, Greg, Greg. Greg um, I, I meant to have told you this, but it just took me some time, and, and I feel it's just better I say it now. I, uh, I destroyed the SD card. Yeah, I took it out of the I took it out of the camera because, you know, I, I I thought she was a street girl, so I wanted to take my own turn on her until I realized that you were in love with her, so I stopped. You were trying to blackmail her for sex. Yeah, but you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Relax, man. Just go ahead, calm down. I trusted you, and this is how you want to ruin our friendship? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Greg. I'm, I'm really sorry. I made a mistake, and I realized it, and, and I, I stopped and corrected it. It's okay, Greg. I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Please. Hmm? So I'm sorry for the very reactive. I'll talk about this tomorrow. Just look at yourself. Mrs. 
to no problem. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, Jide. Uh, Jide, let me call you back. Uh, sorry, can I help you? Uh, I'm here to see Linda. Linda Brown. Linda, I'm sorry, she doesn't live here anymore. I bought this place. Yeah, hello? Yeah, sir, I just got to the place now. But unfortunately, the security just told me that she does not longer hold the place. So how am I going to do? All right, thank you. OK, bros. All right. Oh. Sorry for, for badging it. It's OK. It's OK. Calling you. Are you okay? You've been drinking? Whatever it is, I'm not interested. Greg. Dad, please. Look, I just want to be left alone now. Please just go away. I don't want to talk to you. Not now. Not later. You are depressed because of the woman. She doesn't love you. Huh? You cannot coerce a woman to fall in love with you. You better start taking responsibility, gentleman. Because there's a baby on the way. That's all you care about. The baby, the baby. Look, Mr. Man, you better wise up and stop deceiving yourself. Okay? Guard yourself. You're about to become a father. Now let me break it to you. Linda is gone. Vanished. No Linda, no child. She dared me. I'll find her. And when she has that baby, I'll teach her that nobody dares her. 
you pushed her to flee, made her vanish. The one thing that made sense in my life. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. If you left, please just go away. I don't want to see you again. Just Pointing a gun at my fiance. Where's Linda? Your best friend. She, she, she doesn't live here. I, 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 I don't know where she is. Listen. Any more stupid answers from you, and this your husband will be back on foot in the um, um, Sir, I, I, I have no idea where Linda is. She, she, she was supposed to come for her checkup yesterday, so I, I, I didn't see her. I decided to go to her house all to find her that she. She was gone. I don't believe you. Sir, you have a gun pointed at my fiance's head. Why would I lie to you? I don't I don't know where she is. I have no idea, sir. Tell me the truth. Um, sir, I would be the worst person on earth if I gamble with the life of the man I love. I don't know yet. I don't know where she is. I have no idea where Linda is. I don't know where she is, sir. I don't know. I found you. Hmm? And I will find her. But per adventure, I find out that you are lying to me. Look at me! I will decimate you. Are you okay? Fine, 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 fine. Yes. Jesus. Sorry, I'm so sorry. That guy would have killed me. He would have killed me if I told him the truth. I'm so sorry. To find a heart to love you for who you are, and does it get so magical, or is something so mystical? Each time I'm out of my home with a heart ready to be loved, here comes this gray sky over it. And now I'm used to loving myself Sir, there's something you need to know. Go ahead. I found out she's a British citizen. 
and she has uncles and aunties living in the U.S. My fear is she could be in one of these countries. And if that is true, she's far beyond our reach. I'm sorry, sir. Hello? Hi, Rose. It's Lynn. Hey, girl! Girl, you are not supposed to contact me yet. Relax. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, I got a new line. And don't worry, it's secured, okay? I paid heavily for this. I have a feeling she's a Harry Potter. Um, okay, you know what? Just. Get a new number and probably just email me the number, okay? I'll be moving into my apartment later today. It's somewhere downtown Accra. I'll let you know when I move. Oh, okay. And um, um, Carolyn, can I call you back? Yeah, something just came up by UK. Okay, sure. Good day, sir. Why are you jittery? Sir, I had a busy day today. I lost a patient for the first time in my career. That is enough to get me off balance. But you were shocked to see me? Because I never expected you were going to stalk me, sir. Sir, everything I told you about Lina is nothing but the truth. I don't know where she is. But you knew that she was a British citizen, you did not tell me about it. Sir, that never came up during the interrogation. So where exactly in Britain is she? Sir, I, I, I have no idea, sir. Why would I lie to you when I know the consequences of doing such? Take care, sir. Let's do emails. Okay. Always remember that I have your back. Stay strong, okay? All right. What is it to find a heart to love you for who you are? And does it get so magical? Oh, it's something so mystical Each time I'm out of my home With a heart ready to be loved Here comes this gray sky hovering And now I'm used to loving myself
promise to love you My heart has been waiting See, I know we're not perfect But love has found us here Yes, just make the corrections to the email Hello? Hello? Hold on, my, my Bluetooth Yes, make the corrections to the emails And uh, send it I have to go through it before you send it. Okay, all right, I'll call you back. Just let me know. Make sure you send it before. Okay. Yes, Mr. Jack. I'll tidy everything about the contract by morning and send it to you, okay? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. What are you doing here? Greg, it's been four months, four months, since you cut yourself away from my life. And it's going to remain like that forever, since you chose to cut the only thing that mattered to me forever. Greg, we don't have to be enemies. I'm your father. You should have thought about that before you sent Linda away. I was only trying to help. Please. I don't need any of this pressure right now. If you please leave. Linda. It's you. You found her? No, I didn't. She found me. I was equally surprised when I saw her at the house 30 minutes ago. I'm so sorry, Greg. I'm sorry for everything. Sorry for running away from someone who really loved me, right? In the process, I became a prisoner of my own sentence. I couldn't stop dreaming about you. I couldn't. I kept thinking about the same love I was running away from. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back to... No, 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 it's not what you think. Greg, uh, did you get the baby items? Yes, uh... Vicky, come. Uh, Linda, this is Vicky, my cousin. Vicky, Linda, my... <laughs> I love that, come on. What are you doing here? Did I not tell you I did not see you here? Dad, come on, relax. That, that look, everyone in the family has forgiven her. You should do the same. She made a mistake and she's sorry for it. How, how, how long is she supposed to apologize? Or should I kick her out because some guy who, who impregnated her denied it? Come on, relax, please. Just give the girl a second chance or a break or something. See, uh, Vicky, pick up those things and just go inside, please. You're not going to ruin... This is my moment, please. You're not going to ruin it. Every time, family problems. Can you guys just allow me breathe? Please. It's from one to the other every day. I'm so sorry about that. I 
have missed you thoroughly. I still love you dearly. I, I don't know what... I always imagined that this moment will happen. I just didn't know when. I guess we don't know time or... This is as good a time as any other two. <laughs> I don't have a ring, but <laughs> I just have to go ahead with this. Uh, well, <laughs> will you marry me? Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> My baby.
was it to find a heart to love you for who you are? And does it get so magical? Or is something so mystical? Each time I'm out of my home With a heart ready to be loved Here comes this gray sky over in And now I'm used to loving myself 